Why are you drawn to this lifestyle? Are you looking for more freedom? Do you want more adventure? Uh, are you looking for a fresh start? Do you want to save money? Maybe you're trying to pay off student loans and you don't want to throw away money on rent. Um, are you looking to be location independent? There's so many options here and I personally chose this lifestyle for a combination of those things. I was coming out of a long-term relationship. I really wanted a fresh start. I'm an outdoor adventure photographer, so being location independent is super beneficial and I love the freedom of being on the road. But knowing your why is really important because guys, you will have hard days living on the road. I haven't done a video really talking about that yet, but there are some days when I absolutely hate living in a vehicle. Like, no joke, it can be really challenging sometimes. But I remember my why, I remember the bigger picture, I remember all the good things that I love about it, and if you can come back on that and um, stay grounded in that and be very clear on your why, then it will definitely help you persevere in this lifestyle. I spent the next few months looking for vans. I checked out about six or seven before finding the one I really wanted, and that is this baby here. It was a complete work truck when I bought it and I started by gutting it and uh, figuring out how I was gonna build this thing. Luckily for me, I had all the tools that I needed at home, but luckily for you, there's a million people selling their tool sets on Facebook Marketplace every single day. So I got my tool set and I began working. There's a ton of videos on how to build a van from start to finish on YouTube and they're actually super detailed. So don't be intimidated. I know I was super intimidated and I had no idea my van was gonna come out as clean as it did. It's definitely a process and I remember my van looked ugly until about the last week of renovating it. What I did when I first got my van, I took out whatever seats I didn't need and that's it. I threw a little futon mattress in there and I rolled around like that. And I know it's tough because we see all these things on Instagram and Pinterest of like these hardwood floors and these fancy ceilings and the lights and all of that. It comes with time. It does not need to happen right now. Just get the van, take the seats out, throw a little sleeping pad down and start your weekend adventures. I had my van for probably six or seven months before I started building anything in it. And you know what? I'm still not done with it yet. It's like this ever evolving project, but that's kind of the fun part. Basically, patience is key.